Good morning guys and welcome back. So we've got Benji in the garage for another video again. In this video I'm going to show you guys how to wrap the line your fenders. So with Jeeps and many other cars out there, the plastics on their fenders and on their trims of their car, the front bumpers, the rear bumpers, they just look absolute, absolutely shit. They look horrible. They get faded and they get neglected and they go all white and crispy looking. They look horrible. So a lot of people go through and use like a... Um, say Bowden's own Mr. Black or like some sort of like trim restore stuff. Now we've used the Bowden's own on the Jeep in the past and it's been almost, it'll be three years in May that we restore these fenders, uh, fenders with Bowden's own Mr. Black. And they look great, uh, they look great, sorry. So if you guys want to check that video out, uh, it'll be just up here in this top corner. If you want to check that out, they have looked really good for the most part they look absolutely fantastic and it's done an um, amazing job. A lot of the trim restores kind of last three to six months maybe a year this has lasted almost three years and they're starting to fade just a little bit but we've actually picked up a second hand set of fenders that we're going to cut down um, and paint for the jeep um, if you know the jeep um, fenders they don't really they've got like a slight textured finish uh, but i saw another jeep that had a really textured finish to their fenders and they look absolutely amazing one they're going to wear a lot better they're going to be a lot more going to be a lot rougher like when you're out on the trailers and you're rubbing against branches and stuff like that you're going to be a lot easier to clean i find with these ones even though they've been restored with like a black um trim restore they still seem to get dirty a lot so today i'm going to show you guys how to wrap the line your fenders on either your jeep jk tj or any other vehicle so how to paint faded plastic on your car so i'll be using uh, wrap the line multi-use protective coating now i got this from super cheap auto full price i thought this was stuff was actually really expensive but we got this uh it's a 300 uh, 450 mil can and textured black and this is 27 dollars. i will leave a link to the super cheap auto link down below actually really cheap stuff and we've used this on multiple things um so i'll be sanding the fenders down that we've got and re wrap the lining them with um this wrap the line so you can buy this all over the world. They've got different places you can buy them from. So if you're in America, you can buy it from the American store, New Zealand, New Zealand store, wherever. Indonesia, they've got one as well. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. And they're gonna look great. So the first thing we want to do is, I would not recommend doing this with your, no, that's not for you. Not to not have kids in the garage when you first do it. Um, would actually take the fenders off your Jeep. Um, I do have a video, I believe, just here if I can't find it. Maybe I don't, there's lots of videos out there. But it actually remove the fenders from your Jeep because this stuff is a pain in the ass to get off if you get it on like overspray or on your car we don't want it. So it actually, unless you're really good at masking shit off, I'm not. Um, so I'd actually remove the fenders. It's not that hard, it only takes a few minutes. So I recommend doing that um, and then we'll show you guys there's not much masking off to do. Remove the inner guard um, and the lights as well. So I'm going to actually show you on the set of second hand fenders that we got. We got these for 50 bucks. Um, because we're going to see how the actual finished product is and then if you like them we're going to swap them over to the ones on the Jeep so we never have to worry about it again. This also works for your bumpers, side steps, roofs, stuff like that. So anyway, let's get on to it. We're going to sand them down first and then we're going to give them a few coats of wrap the liner and we're going to see how they look.
All right, all done and dusted, and it's looking absolutely mint. Um, there's a few spots that I did, um, and I kind of stuffed up a little bit. Look, I'm not the best painter in the world, and Ben can probably say that as well. We're both pretty crap. But the best thing about wrap line is that you don't have to be good for a good result because um, it's textured and kind of like a rough look uh, to it that even if you are really crap at painting you can even it out, you can go over it again, you can sand it back um, and you kind of hide all those small imperfections in the paint, in your paintwork um, and with the wrap liner can itself it's a no uh, clog nozzle um, so you don't have to keep wiping it off like the other cheaper brands of like kind of bed liner and wrap liner so all in all, really happy with the results of it. Um, I learnt my lesson with the other ones I did, so they came out a little bit better. Now this is also a great option if you don't want to keep doing the back to black um, on your fenders or you want a more rough, sort of aggressive looking um, look. Because um, the ones on the Jeep factory do have a small textured finish to it, um, but obviously with the wrap liner it's much more coarse, a lot, a lot more... Um, coarse and hard wearing so definitely a great option all in all didn't take very long uh, they were off the jeep to begin with um, as i said they were a second hand set of fenders we got to see if we like the look and i love the look i really like them but also a big fan of the factory sort of style um, of the factory fenders as well so i don't know if we will put them on the car they do look good so if these ones get damaged or something we can definitely swap them over but all in all probably took a couple of hours um, it would probably take a couple of hours with taking your fenders off, sanding them down, getting them ready. So it's not too long. Um, we did the best we can, especially with kids in the house. Um, obviously they only help for small portions of it. But if you guys like this video, um, if you like this product and the end result, uh, please leave a comment if you guys have done this to your fenders. And if you do like it, um, hit the like button as well. And as always, I'll leave a link down below for the Raptor liner as well. We bought our one from Super, Ch Ch Super Cheap Auto, but you can buy it online or multiple stores around the world. I think they've got a few, they've got a really good Instagram page as well that answers a lot of questions and stuff like that. So all in all, really happy with the result. Didn't take long at all. Um, and it's something you guys can do at home with your kids um, on a weekend job. So that's pretty much it for today, guys. If you like this video and the result of the Raptor Line Fenders, please hit that like button and subscribe button. And as always, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys next time. See ya. You shake it.